What's going on, guys? Poorman Games here, and man, this game is something else. It's really incredible. I'm really loving it right now. But so in today's video, I feel like since there's so many guys out there on the best start and all that crap, I decided let me go make a compilation of all the best tips I've seen out there on YouTube. So with this guy, it's gonna be as spoiler-free as possible. Kind of make sure you guys really enjoy this game and all the locations on the map. I'm really I'm not going to show too much, so I'm going to try to keep it back because this game is very special when you actually just experience it yourself and explore. Alright, let's get started. So when you start a new character, the real consensus is it doesn't really matter what your build is. Just watch out when you pick a wretch, the last class on the list, it actually doesn't really scale well. So you got to keep that in mind. The Confessor and the Bagabone are the two best classes you can use for starting out this game. Overall, they have the most balance compared to all the other classes in the game. The Confessor is more like a Paladin build, so you can actually heal yourself, and you also have a good sword for this, a broadsword. And then the Vagabone is really set up for a good melee build here. Make sure you unequip your helmet or your halberd so that you can actually hit that equipment load threshold you want for a, a faster roll. The Keepsake is a class item you start off in the game. The three best ones you can have are the Golden Seed, Lands Routine Rune, and the Stone Ward Key. So basically, the Stone Sword Key unlocks hidden locations throughout the map by a statue. The Golden Sea, which I recommend, it gives you an extra health or mana potion. And the Land Between Rune, like name implies, you gain more runes from it. Some things to keep in mind for your stats. Your Vigor, you want to at least hit minimum 40 for your Vigor because after that, you see significant fall off. For your mind, it's recommended that you invest in that later on because you need at least 20 points in mind for you see return as you level up. For endurance, stop at level 50 for max stamina. Okay. If you go higher, you still will increase your equipment burden scale. This means how much you can carry before you actually start fat rolling in the game. For all the damage scales, make sure that whatever build you're going for, 40 is your limit because then after that you get diminishing returns for everything this means you will dish out less dps during a fight so there's no point of continue leveling up that certain skill and don't worry about arcane not until end game so if right now focus on vigor endurance and your damage skills all right and mind if you're using intellect build or faith build so after you get wrecked in the intro you come to the vendor over here and there's three things you want to pick up a torch because caves are so dark it's ridiculous you need a torch wherever you go crafting kit essential you need this for items for crafting items and a telescope so you can see what's around you and it comes in handy so many times so in total this costs a thousand runes after you do this please don't forget to rest at at least three sites of grace meaning you sit down at the locations because you get a surprise that'll help you along the way be on the lookout for these lights right there you see that it can actually lead you to a site of grace if you get stuck some other quick things use your pouch right it's a shortcut key and then also don't forget turn off auto lock please don't have that on an auto target please turn that stuff off it'll mess you up in the long run when you're playing this game last thing you need is you fight a boss and they got multiple guys with them of course and guess what? Your camera can't decide who to pick on, and then you die by a boulder. That's how it goes. When you travel further north from the vendor, you go to a place called Gatefront Ruins. And this is a great farm spot early game. At this location, you can farm for a brass shield. This is dropped by the enemies of brass shield, so just go sneak around, take them out one by one, do some snake moves right there, and you're good to go. For me, it took my, I think, sixth attempt to actually get the brass shield, so it might take you some time, but hey, you know, you might get lucky. There's another location in the same spot that leads you to a very important item. It's called the Whetstone Knife, and allows you to equip Ashes of War, which lets you put different cool, badass style movements to your weapons, and it changes the scale of it, too, like if it scales with intelligence or faith. And you're just so happy when you find one, man. So be on the lookout for some Sacred dumb blade. beetles. Oh, yes, I said right. dumb beetles because they actually Ashen drop some Ashen Wars. Wars for you. It's crazy. I know. Welcome to Elden Ring. Another fun fact, at nighttime, when you see all this gold falling down from the sky, that's actually a 5% bonus you get with runes. So kill these creatures at nighttime for a little bonus. 
Also, be on the lookout for these skulls that are glowing eyes because they have golden runes in them. So that's also some runes you can collect right there. They're usually around uh, dead bodies. Also, uh, grave tombs have them too. So just look out. Be on the watch for it. Be on the lookout for churches and holy figures because they can sometimes have golden seeds and sacred tears at them. Usually, you can see sacred tears at these holy figure sites. So be on the lookout. So I don't want this video to be too long and I'm not trying to show any spoilers really at all. So with NPCs, make sure you follow the quest lines because they can actually lead you down new paths in the game. Also, if you hit one and they get mad at you and they're angry all of a sudden now, good news is there's a church eventually you find that you can request absolution from. So they won't be mad at you anymore. Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's like 6 a.m. over here. But man, I hope you guys enjoyed the guide. I wanted to make it short, straight to the point, because I was getting confused from all these other guys out there on YouTube. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it, man. It's Poor Man Games. Hope you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I make this content all the time with Elder Ring. Be, be sure to see me on YouTube from 2 to 10 p.m. every single day this entire week, pretty much. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the game, man. Really have fun with it because you never know what adventures lie ahead. And the secrets you might find. I'll see you guys later. Hope you appreciate the video. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. See you later. Be quiet, beast. I did it. Oh, that's not them. What the hell am I hearing right now? What am I hearing? Oh, that's these guys.